Welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer. Today, we're taking a closer look at the new Raspberry Pi Global Shutter Camera. This camera brings a faster global shutter and is perfect for capturing high-speed subjects. But is it worth the upgrade? Let's find out. Just weeks after the release of the Raspberry Pi Camera Module V3, Raspberry Pi introduced the Global Shutter Camera. Priced at £40, this camera is not a successor to the high-quality camera but rather an accompaniment with a focus on fast-moving objects. At first glance, the global shutter camera looks almost identical to the high-quality camera, with the only noticeable difference being a plastic cover featuring the Raspberry Pi logo. The camera uses the same CCS lenses as the high-quality camera, allowing for compatibility and lens interchangeability between the two. The key feature of the global shutter camera is its faster global shutter, which eliminates rolling shutter artifacts commonly seen in fast-moving objects. Unlike previous Raspberry Pi cameras, which used a rolling shutter, the global shutter camera captures images and videos without distortion, making it ideal for sports events or capturing moving blades without any compromise in image quality. However, it's important to note that the global shutter camera offers a lower resolution of 1.6 megapixels compared to the 12 megapixels of the high-quality camera. The design of the global shutter camera closely resembles that of the high-quality camera, featuring a metal tripod mount and a protective black plastic cover for delicate electronics. With the same screw holes as the high-quality camera, it's easy to encase the global shutter camera in existing high-quality camera cases. The software for the global shutter camera remains the same as the recent camera module 3, with options like Lib Camera and Per Camera 2. These applications provide excellent control and integration with the camera, allowing users to fully utilize its capabilities. During our tests, we found that the global shutter camera has a maximum frame rate of 60 FPS. While attempting to record at higher frame rates, the camera ignored our parameters. However, it performed reliably at 30 FPS. It's worth noting that we have reached out to Raspberry Pi to confirm the specifications and will update if necessary. To evaluate the claim of no rolling shutter artifacts, we conducted a comparison using a desk fan as a fast-moving object. With the high-quality camera, rolling shutter artifacts were clearly visible, manifesting as dark waves sweeping across the spinning blades. However, when using the global shutter camera, we observed little to no rolling shutter artifacts, resulting in a clear image of the spinning blades. In summary, if you need to capture fast-moving images or videos, the Raspberry Pi Global Shutter Camera is the ideal choice. Whether it's sports events, machine learning projects, or science experiments, the camera's global shutter and interchangeable lens options will deliver impressive results. However, for general photography projects involving slow-moving or static objects, the high-quality camera would be a better option, offering higher image quality. That concludes our review of the Raspberry Pi Global Shutter Camera. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on UK Pro Reviewer. Happy capturing!